Um, you know, I am so happy for them. I remember him telling me, I think in May, mm -hmm. that he had a crush on this really cute girl. Mm -hmm. And I was like, oh my gosh, I was so happy for him because like he's finally, I, I, I was joking him, I was like, oh Will, finally you're learning how to love again. <laughs> Hi, Janina, what's Hello, up? Uh, hi. So, how is it na, ano, how does it feel to be part of this girl oh power Oh my gosh. Team? When it was first um, introduced to us, I was so excited because I really wanted an avenue to take a stand on, on different, um, I guess, different advocacies. Mm. And on my channel, although I do talk about them a lot, I don't think I've ever, you know, put, um, talked about them head on. And I think this is a great avenue for that. So I'm really, really excited, really honored to be chosen to be part of the It's a Girl Thing squad. So what's your main advocacy? My main advocacy, um, I think, I think all of them, you know, I really want to touch, you know, there's like, there's bullying, there's compassion for others, there's insecurities, but I all honestly think that it all boils down to self-love. Because if you love yourself, um, if, if, imagine if, all of the bullies in the world, you know, mm -hmm. found it in themselves to love who they are. I don't, do you think that they would be pulling down others? I don't think so. So I wish that even the meanest people mm -hmm. would find it in themselves to find something that they could really love about themselves. Because I feel like if you have such, if if you're not filled up with love yourself, it's hard to love others, right? If, if you're not, if, if you find it in yourself to really love who you are, your insecurities, your imperfections, then you wouldn't be um, as insecure or as shy to show who you truly are. So I think everything boils down to self-love. And you know, I've been following you for quite some time. Thank so you, you have been really becoming successful now <laughs> with, with the Globe hosting uh -huh. and the endorsement, Jollibee and all of those. So what do you think is the key secret to your success? What is the key secret? Um, Honestly, it would be to keep your feet on the ground, stay connected to the people who mean the most to you, never lose yourself, and you know, um, I always do everything that I do with a purpose, and it's not just a purpose to earn money, it's not just a purpose to be famous, but it's really a purpose to give value to other people's lives, and I think that if you are not just doing it for yourself, but you're doing it for others, then I think, you know, God will honor that, and that's, I guess that's how I got this far. So I heard you're having some record deal or a new album or... Yes, well... Tell us about it. Um, so I'm releasing my single by the end of the year. Wow. It's self-written and it's self-arranged and... Oh, I'm so excited. I'm doing it with Universal Studio... Uh, Records, sorry. Universal Records. And um, I guess it's a different kind of song. It's not a, you know, a, a, I'm in love with my boyfriend kind of song. It's, um, it's about friendship. So it's very much like you know, me and my channel, so I'm really excited. <laughs> so we heard, of course, about this news about Kuya Will. Yeah. yeah. So, with all these things happening, so what do you think is the biggest lesson that we can pick up from, uh, from Will's current situation and how he handles it? You know, Will is one of the strongest people that I know. And, and I think even before um, we heard about the news, he lived his life with so much gusto that, you know, he never let anything stop him. And right now, if you ask him, he really does not have any regrets because he really lived his life to the fullest. And I think that's something that we can learn from him is to not really live your everyday like it's your last, but really make the most out of each moment. And even when maybe, a, um, what is that? When, when you're in your lowest moment, we can learn from him how positive he's been. I mean, he just found out that he has cancer and yet mm. he's still smiling. And I think that's so admirable. And he's still so positive with yes, his videos, right? Super. Even he hiked the mountain just to yeah, get a, a drone, a just drone, right? Yeah. Amazing, yeah. With, with the surgery and all, yeah. Sobra. So he's been like a big fool to you, right? Yes. Uh, so what's your reaction about uh, him and Alodia? You know, I am so happy for them. I remember him telling me, I think in May, mm -hmm. that he had a crush on this really cute girl. Mm -hmm. And I was like, oh my gosh, I was so happy for him because like he's finally, I, I, I was joking him, I was like, oh Will, finally you're learning how to love again. Because okay. <laughs> I'd always tease him before because he said he didn't want to have a girlfriend or whatever. So I'm just really happy for them, yeah. Mm -hmm. 
Hey, Janina here. Don't forget to catch us on It's a Girl Thing. I hope to see you all there. It's going to be an amazing day of just empowering each other, encouraging each other. So I really, really hope to see you guys there. And may the wings of your eyeliner always be even.